This three-minute tutorial will show you how to use the folder monitor in TDO with Canon cameras. When you bring up TDO, the first thing to do is to make sure your Canon camera is turned on and to make sure the USB port is connected to your computer. It would, should look something like this. So the computer now controls the camera. When you turn the camera on, the EOS utility, the free utility, comes up and that is actually what controls the camera. And the camera will transfer it to a folder. You can control all the parameters of the camera in this utility, but if you go up to the folder option, that specifies the path where the folder, where the photos will be placed. In this case, I'm saving them in my C photos directory and then I'm using the checkbox to create a subfolder so each day will have a separate subfolder in the C folders directory. Then you just tell TDO where the folder monitor should look for the pictures. You go into the edit control table, go to workstation settings and there you specify the directory where the folder monitor should look for the photos. In this case, it's C photos backslash. Now the camera and the computer are tied together in the same folder. When you click the acquire menu, it comes up with a folder waiting uh, notice. Now, every time you click the utility to take a photo, the photo will go into that folder, TDO will locate it and mount it into the uh, acquire page. And also, if you have autosave, it'll save it in the image organizer at exactly the same time. You click again, it takes the second folder, and it also places it in the image organizer. So there's a little delay over what Breeze does, uh, but it's, it's not really significant. It's a few seconds, and that's all. Now the good thing about this is that in TDO you have all of your photos that you've taken, but you also have them in a folder structure uh, in the folder that you specified on your hard drive in your computer. If you go to the uh, Windows Explorer, you can see here that all of the photos by date are still on your computer. So you really have kind of a backup uh, of all the photos. If you need to go in and look at a photo that you've taken on a certain date, they are all there.